Welcome back to today's top spot. Today we're taking a look at the K85 Juliet class submarine by Dejon Tikemar. Dejon Tikemar. That sounds good. Let's get started. All right, so this is the Juliet class submarine looking pretty good here. I think we're going to go ahead and try to get inside and see if we can follow the instructions. Okay, first off, we're going to go ahead and see if this is the get in hatch. Looks like it might be, but we're going to go ahead and click this because I want to know. Oh, it's a buoy. Okay, it's a buoy. Not going to touch it, but uh, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and jump down. Boop. All right. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, I do. Awesome. Okay. All right. Wow. I don't need a flashlight to see this. This looks great. That's great. Look at all this artwork. Nice. I like that. Very nicely done. Okay. What is this? Oh, wait. We should close that, right? Uh, close it. I bet that's a lock. No, it's a magnet. Okay. Uh, let's open this up. Look what's back here. A tiny little room for this little box. Throttle up, throttle down. Interesting. Okay, let's go back to the front. Maybe. I don't know if I should go back to the front, but we're going to read what the instructions say. Whoa, look at this. This looks so nice. Uh, what do the instructions say? The instructions say how to start. Get into the sub by using the hatch at the back or at the top and go to the engine room. Oh, wait. Is this the engine? This kind of looks like the engine room. Then if you switch to two, you are at the standard cruising speed. If you switch to two, if you switch to two, 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 okay, two, uh, engine, oh, that was easy, should we turn on the generators, boop, generators, Okay, so far so good. Not too bad. Uh, let's see here. If you switch to three, you're at three or four speed. If you switch to four, you go full speed. Well, let's just leave it there for now and see what we can see. Oh, look, look at this. This is pretty. Oh, oh it's very nicely laid out. No wonder. Look at the frame rate. This frame rate is good on this submarine. I like this submarine. I am down with this submarine. Turn it. I wish we could, like, get into it like a little thing you know like a like a helm but for these that would be an easy you know friday update minor update just i don't know what you would call it like a lock-on block or something you know friday update yeah let's get a friday update okay whatever battery hatch open only when ballast is empty okay let's not go in there i've got a supply room and then we have a torpedo room do we have torpedoes in there we do. Look at that. Okay, cool. What do we want to do? I don't know what we want to do. I kind of want to hold on to something so I can see outside. Do we have a hold on something? Maybe the seat here? Sonar. High reser press to boot. Themed by ancient pottery, I think. Ready, Faulkner. Oh, I haven't seen one of these before. That's kind of cool. All right, let's see if we can see outside. Oh, we can. Now we're just kind of cruising along. Nice. Okay, let's see if we can follow directions on how to dive. When you're at the helm. Oh, there's a helm. When... Wait, is this the helm? Maybe? I think it's the helm. When you're at the helm, there is a little panel to your left. Oh, yeah, there's a little panel to my left. Wow, for once the directions told me where to look. Great. Then press the ballast... In and unfold the front fins. What does that mean? Ballast in. Unfold the front. Okay, that one. You lost me now. You lost me. Oh, fold the front fins. Gyro. Fold the front fins? If they are folded. Okay, they're not folded. How does that work? Is it these things right here on the side? Interesting. Okay. Then set the depth using the level. Okay, we're just going to go to four. All right, did he tell me what depth is? Oh, minus five is submarine depth or periscope depth. That's kind of hard to get to. Okay, so I think that is it. 
You can only fire the torpedoes at a depth of minus five. Okay. Let's do it 4.95. Alright, how are we doing? Oh, look at that! This is a nice submarine. Oh. What are you doing there in the front, buddy? Should you be doing that? I feel like you shouldn't be doing that, but that's okay. We're gonna leave that alone. We're gonna leave that alone. Do we want the gyro on? Why does he have a gyro? It doesn't say anything about a gyro. Let's turn on and see what it does. Doesn't look like it does anything. Let's turn the gyro back off. We don't need that. Okay, next up. How to use the missiles. Are the missiles the torpedoes or are the missiles... I don't think there's missiles on the sub. Must be only torpedoes. So, go to the missile room. There's a missile room? There's a missile room? What's this? This is a communications room. What is this? This is a map room. Wish we could have su custom sounds. Wouldn't that be a great minor update on Friday? Custom sounds? Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? But we don't have that minor update on Friday. All right, let's move on. Let's see here. I think this is not. This is a bedroom. This must be the missile torpedo room. Is there any controls here? Oh, yeah, there are. So, how to fire torpedoes? Go to torpedo room. Wait, oh, there's missiles and torpedoes. Okay, so this is the torpedo room. So we're gonna go ahead and, um, lock hatch? Lock hatch, lock hatch. Lock hatch. Pump water out. No, we don't wanna pump the water out. We want to open the outer hatch. Open the outer hatch. And then we probably want to just fire. I'm guessing. Okay, let's uh, try to do this. Alright, where are you? Are you coming out? Did I forget a step? Did I not read all the directions? You're just sitting there. Why are you, why are you just sitting there? Oh, I have to hold it till it fires. Well, that's not good. Hold it till it fires. I think it's stuck. All right, well, let's try this one. There it goes. Wow, that one's fast. It's gone. This guy? Mm, not good, he got stuck. Poor little guy. Oh, well, let's see. Wait, you're still doing that? Oh, go, good luck with that. All right, where is this missile room? Missile room. Missile, that's a engine room. This doesn't look like a missile room. Does it look? Maybe? It... Oh, are these? Wait, no. It's just pipes. What is this? Open missile hatch. Oh. Can I do the missiles underwater? I think we can, right? Open missile hatch. If water starts coming in, we'll know. Uh, whatever. Open missile hatch too. Let's check outside. Whoa! Check that out! Okay. They're like horizontal missiles. That is pretty cool. Okay, cool. There doesn't appear... Oh, that's that's helpful. There doesn't appear to be any way to set a target. So I guess it's just fire and forget. Let's see if we can do this. One, two. Whoa! There they go! I have no idea where they're going. Was there a way to set the direction? I don't know. Maybe they're going to space. Whoa, that's cool. And they're gone. All right, I think that is it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Let's just uh, pump up the volume, see how fast this thing can go. Throttle up. Throw up and let's let's surface. See if we can get our surface going on here. Uh, ballast out. There we go. And let's go ahead and go to zero depth. Oh, I left the missile racks up. Oh well. So is it coming up out of the water? Yeah. Look at that. 
I didn't break this one. You must be impressed. Anyways, a very cool submarine. This is the K85 Juliet class submarine. And this is today's top spot. And don't forget that the Stormy Awards is coming up in October. And you're going to want to go ahead and join the Reddit and upvote and suggest and maybe even submit your own build. And then we'll have a successful Stormy Awards 2021. And with that, that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.